Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. You ain't never seen nobody move in real time like I have, have you? Anyway, check it out, man. So I was watching Trey Hazard's uh, stream last night, and y'all go check that out, the Hasbro's, man. Uh, y'all check them guys out, man. Those some good guys. Anyway. He was talking about something, and we're going to get to the title of the video, why people um, are hating on, you know, some of the pure archetypes. Um, this is why. He was talking about the Hall of Fame badges that everybody has. Because everybody, the first thing was when you say you shouldn't be able to do something, people always cite their ratings, um, the Hall of Fame badges, and then one player in the NBA out of uh, like 300 that can do you know something so so we're just, we're just gonna go with that and uh it, it just dawned on me exactly what he was saying it shouldn't be that way but at the same time if my badges work the way that you guys badges work it will be fine so let's just go right here we're just gonna i, I left the position at point guard because the position doesn't matter this is just the badges that you get and uh on the on this side you've got the pure playmaker and on this side you got the uh the pure sharpshooter and more or less what he was saying was your badges are licensed to do the dumbest things imaginable and like i said i really don't care at this point because um it just is what it is they'll they'll change what they're going to change and or if they, they either change it or they won't will the doubt will get by but he was saying that that your badges are a license to do the dumbest things imaginable and if he could do the same dumb stuff then it would be fine, but he can't. And let me explain what you what, what explain to you what he's saying. So you get catch and shoot, deep range, dead eye, limitless range, which I think deep range, dead eye, limitless range are the two two biggest things that that give you the license to do the dumbest thing imaginable. Okay, let's say you catch the ball in the corner, right? So you're gonna have catch and shoot, deep range, dead eye, limitless range helps it, no matter where you're shooting from. Uh, corner specialist, or, or even if you catch it on the wing. And then somebody hard challenges you and you're leaning. You got silver difficult shots. Like, I've seen some of these guys greening with silver difficult shots. I'm not so sure you don't get gold difficult shots. It seems like or silver's just that strong. But it just makes a cocktail for you to not have any bad. Not saying that anybody that plays pure, pure sharpshooter doesn't have basketball IQ, but it works together so that you don't have to have any basketball IQ. This literally nullifies the need to have basketball IQ. And what I'm saying is, Deep range dead like you shoot in anybody's face. Uh difficult shots is gonna is gonna make it so you don't have to stop moving when you when you're running. And then limitless range, you can just shoot from half court. So you can just you can do a running shot in somebody's face at half court and you can green it. I've seen it happen. Like Tiffy, Tiffy World was just he was just playing around on stream and did it. He was like, Yeah, let me see if I can use this for a bailout. Um, just in case, you know, just in case it comes down to it. Did it. Green. It was crazy. So that's what people are saying. But conversely, Trey has all these Hall of Fame badges here. And he's saying ankle breakers is not is not a license for him to drip to dribble stupid. You know, he got he got high ratings and he can still get plucked. He has Diamond Hall of Fame. Diamond, he just can't throw stupid passes. He can't fit passes in where passes really shouldn't be able to fit in. He can't he can't, uh, I mean, the, the, they hit somebody's body all the time with him. Uh, what do we say? Pick and roll maestro. That's really useless. Lob City passer. It, it really doesn't work. You throw alleys in this game, and, and half the time they go out of bounds. And flashy passer, which used to be able to, which you used to be able to use to um, to throw a pass without having to stop moving. That don't even work half the time now because you do a flashy pass, you throw the ball out of bounds. So what he was saying is these these badges over here are or pretty much bailout badges. They'll bail you out when you're in a tough situation, but none of his badges will do the same thing. And I completely agree with it. I don't think anybody could disagree with that, right? Like you could, shot clock running down, he still can't throw the ball to somebody where the ball shouldn't go any more than anybody else can throw the ball where the ball shouldn't go. Does that make sense? But at the same time, shot clock running down, you can take a shot that somebody else can't take because you got deep range dead eye and limitless range. You just shoot from half court almost. Or even if it's challenged, it's probably still going in because you got deep range dead eye. And then difficult shots will kick in too. And that's going to help you make the shot even more. And that's why people are frustrated with it right there because their badges don't do the same thing. And, and at the same time, I'm not just talking about pure sharpshooters because I kind of rank, rank this. And let's go with a pure slasher, right? So you got a pure slasher and they have the second most bailout badges. The only thing that they need is relentless finisher and then um, 
and Posterizer. Those two badges and Acrobat. Oh my God, Acrobat is, those are three of the most bailout badges in the game because 90% of the time when a slasher gets on you, I mean, if he's down low, if he's one of the a, a slashing rebound or a rebound or slasher or whatever, he's already down low, he's dead. He's just gonna press the button to see if he can go up. If he can't go up and just, just posterize you like that, because that is a bailout badge. Or if he's rolling to the hole, relentless finish is gonna kick in. Or, you know, and, and sometimes you see him go up and they know they're gonna miss the layup. They hit the acrobat, boom, and it's going in. So like, this is the major reason that people are frustrated. Because you got, you have, the, these are the two, the two most frustrating archetypes in the game. The only reason nobody's really, really, really mad at slashers is because slashers get twos while uh, the, uh, while the uh, sharpshooters get threes. And like, it, it really doesn't matter to me a whole lot, but at the same time, it matters to a whole lot of people, man. So, so these are guys that can take contested shots and get buckets with their badges as bailouts. Nobody else can really do that. Let's just go on down the list. Like I said, let's see what else he has. He got teardropper. Oh my God, they use teardropper. That's you, you're dead on that one too. But um. Like I said, the biggest thing was, he was like, I got Hall of Fame diamond. Why can't I throw these dumb passes? It's like, dog, I don't know. Let's go to small forward and see what we can do. What else we can do. Um, post score has some bailout badges. But but again, nobody's really going to care because you got post spin technician and drop step. But these guys, these joints right here, they do get you open. But they don't bail you out like that because you still have to do something afterwards. Like the, like like uh, up and under specialists, there's not even a bailout because it takes time off the clock. Let's go with rebounders rebounding and i hope you guys understand what i'm saying like nobody's really hating but it's just it's this this is the thing that's that's frustrating people is because they can't do the same thing you got the rebounding guys i mean hustle rebounding will bail you out sometimes but how often does it really really bail you out because you still have to fight box outs you still have to get in the right position if there's a guard down there nine times out of ten you are gonna get the rebound over him but you know it is what it is brick wall not really a bailout i mean it's so hard to set screens this year if you're not setting the moving screen so um, you know, break start is not really going to bail anybody out. Put back King and hustle rebounder together will bail you out, but you still have to work your behind off to get that offensive rebound. So, I mean, I don't really look at those as really bailouts. You could say that those are the bailout badges, but, but they, they're not really bailout badges. All right, so let's go. We already did finisher. We did playmaker. We did sharpshooter, uh, shot creator. Shot creator has a couple of bailout badges, but they're not like, they're not anything like like the other ones. Like, uh, okay, mid-range dead eye. Everybody can shoot mid-ranges with people in their face, so, it, so that doesn't even matter. Tear dropper, I guess, Tyler score, and difficult shots. Difficult shots is kind of one, but I mean, it's twos. Everybody can shoot twos. Everybody can shoot twos off the dribble. So I think the biggest thing is like with shot creators, and shot creators are nine times. You have shot creators that can hit from anywhere. Don't get me wrong, but most shot creators can only are only really gonna hurt you with twos and go into the rim. And so so they, they have they don't really have a whole lot of bail out badges. And then uh obviously the last one, I think I went through all of them, man. Playmaker, sharpshooter, defender. I haven't gone defender yet. Uh we did finisher, uh rebounder, and scoring. So we're gonna go defending. Defending, you really don't you really don't get anything, man. You get Hall of Fame defensive stopper. That's not a bailout. I can't cheat off you and get back. If I cheat off you and get back with Hall of Fame defensive stop, you still gonna hit the shot. Uh, Pickpocket, you really can't even steal the ball like that this year. Chase down artist and um, charge card. Chase down artist is a bailout badge though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Chase down artist because you can gamble and then if they go by you, if, if, if it's somebody that you know is gonna go to the rim, you can always catch up and block it off the backboard. So I will say the chase down artist is somewhat of a bailout badge. I ain't gonna lie to you, I use it all the time, but the fact of the matter is, it's still nothing like these bailout badges because you get points. Three points. The most points that you can hit in the game, you get them with these bailout badges. And that's why people are really upset. People aren't really upset because, because you guys are that good or because you're that nice. Nobody don't care about that. It's just that you have a license to do the silliest things imaginable and still get three points, the most points you can get in any position out of it, and nobody else does. Again, like he said, the bigger, the, the best way that he could put it was, with your badges, your Hall of Fame badges, make a cocktail where you can take the dumbest shots imaginable. You guys and slashers, they can too. And like I said, not everybody uses it like that. Some people use them to their, to their advantage. Most people use deep range dead eye. 
to, for late closeouts, to nullify late closeouts, and that's what it should be used for. Shouldn't be used to just pull up in somebody's face because nobody's doing that in the NBA, and you certainly aren't doing that playing this video game if you're that, you know. I, I'm not gonna get into real life over the video game, man. Like, those guys like Kevin Durant, they can do that because they were working since they were five years old to get this good at basketball. You, on the other hand, have not done anything other than acquire a rating use VC to acquire a rating in a video game. It's like, you're not that good. You're just, you're just, it's just your archetype that's allowing you to do it. So, but what he was saying was, like, I can't throw dumb passes. He goes in the paint and try to throw the ball out, nine times out of 10, it's gonna hit somebody. You understand what I'm saying? He can't bounce pass it out. You try to pass it out any kind of way. Somebody jumps, He can, you can't pass around them. You got no, you, I mean, you got point guards that can pass around people. Why can't he do it in a video game? It's ludicrous. Like, Chris, you never seen Chris Paul go up into the paint, up fake, somebody's right there, he look around and throw it out to him. But you can't do that in this video game. And that's why, that's where the, it's, it happens in real life um, argument falls on deaf ears. Because like I said, he said, I, I can't throw dumb passes with Dimer. You know, I can't just dribble crazy with anchor breaker. I can't just do what I want. You know what I'm saying? I can't just throw lives and stuff like that. And that's that's abs absolutely true. I don't think anybody can dispute that. But um, like I said, sharpshooter, which is, which is probably the most frustrating. And then you got the finisher. You got the finisher, um, the finishing joint. Uh, driving and finishing is probably the second most frustrating archetype because they do seem to be able to get points every single time their badges activated. And those badges are, in most cases, bailouts. Coming down the lane, somebody standing there, I don't care, I'm just gonna press the button, rise up, boom! I mean, it is what it is. Poster rise is gonna bail you out. Uh, Relentless finisher bails you out when you ride somebody and they go into the rim, and then um, Lob City finisher does nothing, really. But uh, Acrobat is gonna really bail you out, too. So it is what it is, man. Like I said, I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say in this video. Um, like I said, I ain't bashing on these guys because they already got enough and they might get nerfed. And uh, we don't know if they're going to get nerfed. We don't know what's gonna happen. The site that I'm using for this is uh, NBA 2K Labs. The link will be down in the description. But I really just wanted to kind of share some light on why people are giving those guys such a hard time. Not not particularly myself, because like I said, this game, it, it, it ain't that deep to me. But it is, that is a lot of imbalance. And when your badges allow you to get three points every time on bad decisions, but I can't throw a simple pass out of the post. When I have dime, I can't throw dumb passes. I can't squeeze passes in where they should get in there. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else's badges allow them to do really what their archetype is supposed to do. That's why people are frustrated. That's why people are upset. And that's why you guys are getting a hard time and they want you guys to be nerfed because Hey, now you can dribble and go to the rim. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you understood what I was trying to say. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Holla! 360 out this mug.